You know, I think many people have the mistaken impression that Congress regulates Wall Street. In truth, that's not the case. The real truth is that Wall Street regulates the Congress. The reason is evident. These men, the big bosses of the political deal, the beneficiaries of privilege in the field of industry, the men who represent that sinister alliance between crooked politics and crooked business, which has done more than anything else for the corruption of American life, are united as one man against the genuine rule of the people themselves. All those who face this challenge of educating our children, finding work for our older people, finding security for those who have retired, all who are committed to this great effort of moving this country forward, come and give us your help. Because at the end of the day, whether you're concerned about jobs or wages or health care or education or climate change, we are not going to go where we have to go so long as a handful of billionaires are capable of purchasing the United States government. The test of our progress is not whether we add more to the abundance of those who have much. It is whether we provide enough for those who have too little. Every gun that is made, every warship launched, every rocket fired signifies, in the final sense, a theft from those who hunger and are not fed, those who are cold and are not clothed. This world in arms is not spending money alone. It is spending the sweat of its laborers, the genius of its scientists, the hopes of its children. As one who has witnessed the horror and the lingering sadness of war, as one who knows that another war could utterly destroy this civilization, which has been so slowly and painfully built over thousands of years. I wish I could say tonight that a lasting peace is in sight. I understand that sometimes you do have to go to war, but I think war is the very, very, very last option. Our problems are man-made, therefore they can be solved by man, and man can be as big as he wants. No problem of human destiny is beyond human beings. Man's reason and spirit have often solved the seemingly unsolvable, and we believe they can do it again. The problems we face did not come down from the heavens. They are made, they are made by bad human decisions. And good human decisions can change them. Because the business of government is the business of the people, and the people are right here.